Hello photo makers and welcome back to 3D printed soup. Now last week I printed a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or slash Hero Turtle and uh, if you want to know any more about that check out my video last week where I explain uh, how we had a slightly different name for those lovely green crime fighting amphibians. But this week I thought hey what was my favourite cartoon in the 80s and I thought yeah that's right it was Ghostbusters or in that case the real Ghostbusters. And yeah, that got a bit confusing. You had Ghostbusters, you had the Ghostbusters, and then you had the real Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, so you had two cartoons, a live action TV series, and a film. All of which call themselves the Ghostbusters, and yeah, licensing got a bit messy. If you want to know more about that, check out Toy Galaxy's awesome little uh, video on uh, the Ghostbusters and the real Ghostbusters cartoon, and the... Uh, Wright's Minefield, which is the Ghostbusters franchise. But anyway, I loved um, Ghostbusters, and I especially loved the toys, and um, sort of the play features they all had, and Ghostbusters was all about play features. So I thought, can I 3D print myself one? So I had a dig around on Thingiverse, and I found this fantastic file right here by this fantastic maker. He has designed a brilliant Winston Zedmore character. So let's print, build, and paint this fantastic model. Let's give this a try. Perfect. Okay, with the figure fully printed, I have now undercoated it in a sort of glossy grey colour, which has turned out quite nicely. I'm going to paint the boots black. And then I'm going to paint these straps on here a sort of a combat green, which is uh, the same as on the original figure. And also his belt as well. I thought these were going to be brown, but no, I checked in the figure and it is this sort of weird sort of... Uh, army fatigues green for the uh, straps and for the belt then put his white shirt painted there get a few moments to dry and then repaint it again and paint the zipper silver and his gloves black and with that done I'm just going to paint his face get around all the bits of flesh around there and then paint on Eyebrows. Um, paint still the same colour as the eyebrows. Tap his eyes in, and very carefully dot those so he got his pupils, and pop his head on, and there he is. And then we're gonna paint the plasma stream don't cross the streams I'm gonna paint that with uh, moot cream which is a lovely bright green from Citadel paints and then paint the ghost a lovely orange color and with the paint applied that's him finished I do love the way the proton stream actually works like the original toy did back in the 80s you can just sort of spin it around and I always like the fact that the uh, 
the figures themselves came with a ghost you could bust because I remember having no money in the 80s because it was like this was the only time I could get over the summer holidays. It was nice to have something that you could actually play with and not just have a figure which didn't have anything else to actually react with. Now the details on this figure are great. I love all the way that the, uh, the folds and creases in his overalls. And yeah, his face looks very, very expressive. So yeah, this is probably my favourite 3D print in a long, long time. Thank you very much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy and safe and stay tuned for another action figure next week. Perfect.